tubiest of the tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus today. We're going to watch me back into this uh, building here. Now, a couple of things I got. I want you guys to uh, understand. Uh, there's going to be a lot of shippers uh, and receivers. Uh, they do not want you on the trailer. So they may have you um, go ahead and remove your securement from the trailer in the load. Now, you do have the option of refusing to do that if you believe that moving that load can cause a major catastrophe. And in this situation, it most definitely could. So, uh, although we had to remove the securement because you can't remove it once you go inside of that hole, okay? You just can't fit. So, uh, I backed the trailer in and uh, the way I know it, it was going to be a smooth transition uh of, from the outside to the inside, no no mistakes or anything like that. Now look, I'm in now number seven. Look at door number eight. That one looks like uh, somebody may have not had the right amount of uh, training or something, because it looked like somebody touched that wall going up in that hole right there. So they, they got to prop the whole building up some big metal toothpicks. See that see that see that spot on, on the lower side of that wall right there? Looks like somebody touched that going up in there. They ain't got 50 plus scales. Everybody ain't able. But listen, when you're gonna when you have to do, to uh, to move a vehicle uh, and you're not comfortable that uh, that that you're gonna be able to make those maneuvers uh, without damaging the load or the property or anything, then uh, if the if the customer is insistent that you move that truck with no securement, don't do it and call safety and let them tell you, hey, nope, don't do that or yeah, it'll be okay, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, make a make a sound decision and and make sure that uh, as you can see on either side of me, there's not a whole lot of uh, of room okay uh, so that's the reason why you, they, they want you to unsecure that load before you back in there as you can see there's a there's a, uh, a wall on the on the uh, what would be the passenger side uh, as we're looking at this it's going to be our left side you can see a concrete wall and a yellow framework there a guardrail so you can't walk on that side to unsecure that load, right? That's why you got to do it on the outside. <clears throat> Just be careful with that, gentlemen and gentle ladies. Make sure you're doing this at the safest uh, way possible. These guys right here are unloading me. Uh, they've done it before. This, I, this, I like this place. It's a pretty cool place. But these guys are using that overhead crane, man. They know what they're doing. They can... They can they can move that stuff, man. They unload. I mean, of course, I got this in a little bit speedy mood, and I kind of cut it up a little bit so you wouldn't have to waste a whole lot of your time. But these guys are really good at what they do, man. It's pretty cool. I, I I like coming to this place. And then I got lucky, and the load after this one is another place I hadn't gone in a while. I really really like these other folks, man. At the at the next drop or next pickup. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if I pronounced their name right. Cone or Cone or whatever it is. They do elevators, and these people are the coolest folks. I mean, I have never gone into a to, to going over there or dealt with even at job sites. Their employees that work at that at the elevator place, Coney Coney or whatever it is. Man, they got the they got the coolest people work there. That staff is just freaking awesome, man. Um, everybody's nice. I don't know, man. It's like, you know, you step on their toe and they go, oh, man, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, is, is your boot okay? Is, is your steel toe boot okay? I mean, my foot's broken, but it's okay. I, I want to make sure that you're okay. Uh, can I get you anything? I mean, like, ah, damn. I mean, I, you know, you, you, they, so, they so nice people. I mean, you just want to take them to your house and lock them in a cage. They're going, they're going oh, thank you so much for the cage. It's so nice, the cage. They're like, oh, hell, they so nice. You don't even want to do nothing bad, huh? Oh. 
they just say this cool people. It's a, it's amazing that some of these folks have such good hiring techniques. I'm just rambling while these guys finish unloading my trailer, but it's it's so cool that some of these folks that you go to, to work with. They have such good hiring techniques that they hire gentlemen like this guy and, and the guy that's working with him and those folks at Cone. I don't understand how they can find such good people, man. And everybody that uh, I've worked with over there, man, they're just a pleasure. I, I enjoy it. So, I, And I enjoyed this visit with them. I'm not actually uh, recording this after I've picked up at Cone. I record this. I'm making the video after I picked up at Cone. But uh, I get to go visit them again in the morning when I drop off at the job site. And I hope they ever get a chance to watch this video. They got some really cool people working with them. And that's always a pleasure. Guys, hey, I uh, hope, hope you got a little bit of something from this. All I wanted you guys to understand is that uh, uh, do what, what's safe, okay? Uh, moving these loads, just make sure that you're that you're that you know where you're backing, and make sure that uh, the loads are secured. Uh, if not, call safety. Tell them you don't feel safe, and safety gonna tell them they better find something else. Till I see you again, deliver undistracted. And here's your boop. Boop. Yes, I know you can't see it, but I did it anyway.